They say the Glyph Atom Raid SSD is the fastest drive you can get. Is it though? I'm actually pretty excited to test this drive. I mean, I heard so much about them and they are on the Netflix gear list. So I wanna see that incredible speed with my own eyes. Glyph also offer an interesting warranty where if the drive dies within three years, they will replace it. And for the first year, they will provide basic data recovery service as part of the warranty. So yeah, I'm excited. Before we get to the testing part, let's talk a little bit about hard drives, SSDs, RAID, and USB standards. If you just want the dry test, skip here. This is a hard drive. It has some magnetic disks and a mechanical arm that hovers on top of the disks and reads the magnets as the disks are spinning. This technology is slow and has a relatively high fail rate. Hard drives write at about 100 to 200 megabytes a second. This is an SSD, the Samsung T3. It has a bunch of flash memory chips and no moving parts. It is obviously faster, say 400 megabytes a second. RAID, or RAID 0, is a process where you write the data to two drives simultaneously. Each drive is only dealing with half the data, so you get double the speed. This is what the Glyph Atom RAID uses. And according to Glyph, it gets to almost a gig per second. You know USB. It's that little port that you use to plug things into your laptop. Sadly, the USB standard is one big mess. And Linus Tech Tips has a great video explaining it. If you want to geek out, go and watch that one. For the most part, it's enough to know that the Glyph Atom RAID uses a fast USB-C 3.1 Gen 2 USB. It's not the fastest, but it's fast enough. The drive that we got is a one terabyte drive, which actually means that it has two 500 gig drives inside of it. We got the silver version, but you can choose black or gray if that really matters to you. Okay, I know you've all been etching for the actual tests and I'm going to compare the Atom Glyph to two other drives, a four terabyte rugged transcend and a Samsung T3 SSD. Better than that, I'm going to run three tests. First, I'm going to run a benchmark software and see how the drives compare when stressed. Then, I'm going to transfer a 4K file to each of the drives. And lastly, I'm going to open a project in Premiere running from the Glyph, and I'm gonna see if it can actually be used as an editing drive and not just as a cold drive. So first, we're going to test each of the drives with the Blackmagic speed test software. Two SSDs are connected with USB-C directly, and the hard drive from Transcend is connected via a fast USB hub. Now Blackmagic software is what Blackmagic uses to see if hard drives can run with their cameras. And I would say this is pretty much an industry standard. So let's see how it works. First, I'm gonna test the transcend. I'm gonna click start here. I'm getting roughly 80, 89, 90 uh, megabytes per second write speed. And for read, I'm getting roughly 100 megabytes per second. Now this is on Mar with what I would expect from a hard drive. Let's try the Samsung T3 drive. I'm gonna select target drive here and go to the Samsung T3. And I'm gonna run exactly the same test, only this time I'm gonna do it with the Samsung T3. And wow, this is a major improvement. I'm getting 400 megabytes per second write and roughly 400 megasecond, megabytes per second read. And this, this is quite impressive. I mean, you can obviously see why moving from a hard drive to an SSD makes sense. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the glyph and I'm gonna hit start here. And I'm gonna wait. Wow. So I'm getting 700 megabytes per second write speed and roughly 800 megabytes per second read speed. And I'm, I'm blown away. Um, this is very, very impressive. We shoot most of our footage in 4K and I would love to see how long it would take to move a big 4K file onto each of those drives. All those files here are actually the same file and we just made copies of them so we don't have any cache issues. Those are roughly five and a half gigabits file. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna move one of those files onto the transcend and see how long it takes. I'm starting now. That could take a while. Um, it's telling me that it's gonna take about a minute. I'm gonna wait and wait. Less than a minute. That feels like a lot more than a minute. We are done. So how long was that? 57. 57 seconds to move five and a half gigabyte file 
from my desktop onto the transcend. Okay, let's try the Samsung T3. I'm choosing a different file, just so this file is not cached somewhere on the computer. And here we go. This should take about 10 seconds. This is what the computer, the little window is telling me. And we are done. 12 seconds. So that was 12 seconds and I I'm impressed. 12 seconds versus 57 seconds is a, is a major difference. So the last drive we're gonna test is the Atom Raid from Glyph. I'm really, really excited to see how it performs. And one, two, here we go. So five seconds left and we are done. Eight seconds. That was eight, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm genuinely impressed. So eight seconds for five and a half gigabytes. That, that wow, that, that is nice, that is nice. The last thing that I wanna do is I wanna try and edit using the Glyph. And those are 4K files. They were recorded with an A7 III. Um, let's see how it works. So let me bring one file in. So I'm gonna drag this onto the, into the project and I'm gonna mute this. And let's see if I can. Yes, I can definitely see myself working with this as an editing drive. Um, it's doing a 4K stream, no problem. Okay, that, that was nice, I mean, that was nice. You can get the Atom Raid SSD at Amazon or B&H in flavors between half a terabyte and four terabytes. This all depends on your needs and your budget and I guess color preferences. They go between $200 for the half a terabyte to about $850 for the four terabytes. That's about 75% difference from the Samsung T5. That's the current model for this one. But if you need a speed, this is not a big premium to pay. We will continue testing this drive over the next weeks and eventually we'll probably swap out our entire editing fleet to the Glyph Atom Raid SSD. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Hit the like button, subscribe, share all, all that regular stuff. Uri Tiroch DIY Photography and I'll be seeing you around. Ooh.